Hello, we're going to continue our discussion on dictionaries. Uh, we started this the last class. A dictionary has key and value pairs. And this line of code right here that I typed in creates a dictionary with four different items. And we can use the length function just like we do with lists to verify that yes, there are four items in the dictionary. And the items are more complex. There's a key and a value pair. And those combined make the item in the dictionary. And we can look things up in the dictionary by doing the dictionary name, square brackets, and then the key. So this little example, I have my ratings on a scale of 1 to 10 on how delicious different foods are. So I've given my cake a rating of 10 and I gave kale, I think it's really yucky tasting, a rating of 1. Um, so to add something new to the dictionary, we can do the name of the dictionary and then the name of the new key that doesn't already exist. So I could say um, candy bars and I'm gonna say that they're given a rank of 8 and so if I look at food I can see that candy bars have indeed been added with a key and value pair and notice that the order of the dictionary isn't um, guaranteed it's um, mapping uh, one set of keys, the sets of values, and the order isn't guaranteed. Well, how would we delete something from our dictionary? So I don't like how it's kind of scrolling there. I want to delete one of the items, uh, not from the, yeah, from the dictionary. So it's going to be similar to how we would delete something from a list. So in a list, there is a del command and we can also use del to delete something from the dictionary so we'll delete from the food dictionary and then in square brackets i'm going to put the key that i would like to delete so i'm going to delete that candy bars entry that i just added and now i've got my original list back um, we could also clear the entire dictionary with a clear command and we would do that with the name of the dictionary food and then clear and then parentheses so it's a method on this dictionary and here we'll look at yep now we've got an empty dictionary so instead of working with an empty dictionary let me get back the original contents of the dictionary all right what if we're trying to look something up in the dictionary and it's not found so what if i'm trying to look up in the food dictionary um, carrots and there is no carrots in the food dictionary so I get this really ugly red error message well we'd like to avoid ugly red error messages in our programs when we're running them so one thing you might want to do is check our carrots in the food dictionary before you even run that kind of a command and we can see that's false they're not in the food dictionary but something like cake is in our food dictionary. So there's other things we can do. Uh, we can go ahead and try another way of looking at something in the dictionary is with the get method. So we've got the name of the dictionary and then we're going to call a method get and pass in the key like cake and then there's a second um, argument that we can provide saying if cake is not found here's the error message you can provide instead of this really ugly red error message so I'll do not found well cake is found so we're just going to get back the value of 10 my ranking for cake but what if we were to do that with carrots well instead of having that ugly red error message that we got before, now we have this really nice and clear not found message. So get is um, a little bit nicer way to look something up if you don't find it, you don't get, um, your whole program doesn't crash with red error messages, you just get back the simple not found message. Well, there's an even, I'll say an even better way to look and see if something's in the dictionary or another way to do it with a set default function. <clears throat> with our dictionary, we can call this method set default and we can go ahead and look up 
whatever we want. First, let's try something that is in the dictionary, um, cake. And if it's in the dictionary, it'll just return the value for cake, which is 10, the, the key value pair. Cake is the key and the value is 10. Um, but then there's another argument that we could pass in. If it's not found, we could go ahead and add it to the dictionary uh, with this certain ranking. So it was found and it returned the value that corresponds to that key and we can see there's no change to our dictionary. But what if we called set default with carrots? Well, I would say carrots rank maybe three. Uh, they're not too yucky, um, but they're still vegetables. So I'm gonna say, go ahead and look for carrots. If you find it, return the value. If you don't find it, add it to my dictionary with this as the key and three as the value. And then it returns the value of three. So let's look at our dictionary and we notice that it has been modified. It has been changed and we've added that new key value pair.